Hey guys, what's up? This is Tony Teaches Tech. I am Tony, and in this video, I want to answer the age-old question of, does adding more CPU and RAM make your website faster? What do you guys think? Let's find out. Okay guys, so as a lot of you know, I am trained in computer engineering and I have a strong web programming background. So I have a pretty good hunch about what the answer to this question is, you know, if more CPU and more RAM makes a website faster, but I just really needed to test it out for myself and for you guys to make sure, you know, we all understand this concept on the same level. So what I did was I actually went over to Linode and I spun up their basic server. And this virtual private server gives you one gigabyte of RAM and one CPU core. And just to be transparent here, this server was located in Los Angeles. I then set up another test server down in Atlanta, Georgia. And I ran a series of 100 page speed tests from Atlanta to Los Angeles. Now I then went on to repeat this process with a two gigabyte RAM server and one CPU core. Ran the test again from Atlanta to Los Angeles. Did it again with a four gigabyte RAM, two CPU core server. Ran the test from Atlanta to Los Angeles. And finally, one last time with an eight gigabyte RAM, four CPU core server. Ran the test one last time from Atlanta to Los Angeles. So to summarize, this is a set of 400 individual page speed tests on servers ranging from one gigabyte RAM up to eight gigabytes RAM and one CPU core up to four CPU cores. Let's look at the results. So the first metric here is server response time and pretty much across the board, the servers responded in right around the same time within seven milliseconds of each other, regardless of how much RAM and CPU cores the servers had. The next metric here, time to first paint, again, the results were very, very close to each other, separated by at most 12 milliseconds. And finally, and probably most importantly, the page load time. Again, the same type of thing. The results were very, very close to each other, separated by at most a dozen milliseconds or so. So guys, I think it's pretty clear here that more RAM and more CPU cores doesn't necessarily make your web pages load faster. Let me remind you, the test that we did was basically user one user at a time going to your website. So load the page, load the page, load the page. And as we saw, adding more RAM and more CPU did not make the page load any faster. But one thing that can help with adding more RAM and specifically more CPU cores is if you have multiple users coming to your website at once. So, and this is, this is a very basic dumbed down version, but each CPU core can handle loading a page to multiple users at the same time. Now, if you want to do some other type of optimizations to make your pages load faster, there are plenty of things that you can do, such as minification of your HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You can also do caching. So there's a bunch of WordPress caching plugins. Even better than caching plugins is caching at the server level. And you can compress your images as well, compress your web pages as well using gzip compression. So there's many different techniques about how to make web pages load quicker. But in this case, um, adding more RAM and more CPU cores does not actually help that out. So um, if you guys want to learn stuff like this about how to make your web pages load, pass load faster, that's what this channel is all about. It's all about web optimization, SEO, and just helping some of you guys even get your business online in the first place. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, definitely consider subscribing, have a look around, see if anything sparks your interest. And if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you do subscribe to this channel, I will see you in the next video.